Okay, so I've done my jig. I've turned it round, so this smallest part of the jig here, this is the front. Uh, the next thing we're going to need is um, this pack here. And we're going to need these sparse sections. So that's the next process. We need to cut these out. We need to sand off just all the little laser bits that will be on there and get them ready to add to this. Okay, so these are the bits that we're going to need to take out and prepare ready for fitting. So front spar, the idea is that, that is going to drop into there like so and we're going to sellotape that in place. Then you've got your next spar which is going to drop into here like so and these then glue onto there. Now, the last one, this is where you really start to begin to see the effects of the Prandtl theory is because of, hang on a minute, I've gone a bit mental there, haven't I? Let me just turn this round and show you. So, this is the centre, and then we've got this curve. So it's actually, although we've got dihedral, we've also got a reversing curve as well. So, that is going to fit onto there like so. Now, there is a, I've come up with a little bit of a tip for that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to prepare all these pieces and then we're going to get them into place. The first thing we're going to do is this is what, a little tea light. And all I'm going to take, dump the foil, get this candle. And then I am just running it very gently up and down. like so on all these runners don't overdo it you don't want masses of um, candle wax that's left on here but all I'm doing is, is I'm just running some candle wax over this top structure not forgetting the ones at the back Okay, so I've um, sanded and cleaned up, joined the three spars. Little technical tip. Um, I joined these. It's very, very weak just there, and I've got to put my hand up and say it was my fault. I rushed it and I broke it just there. But just be very careful because that's there, very thin there. And this reverse curve that you can see is supposed to be here. Just remember get all the notches facing the same way. So the idea is, I'll start with the front, which is the smallest spar. And what I have done is, is I've just marked a centre line down every one. Not that you really need it, but just like a bit of an aid memoir really to make sure you don't forget. So the idea is, now with a set square, I'm gonna push that up to there. And then what we want to do between the notches, I'm going to do, this is masking tape, and I'm just going to get that square on the end as well. And this is how we're adding, it's going to fix the spars. So so this is the three spars now added with the tape. Next thing we're looking at is going to be adding some ribs. Okay, so I cleaned up this main rib. That slots into there like so. 
and this part of the construction I'm going to be starting using the wood glue These three pop into here like so. And then this chap then fits up inside here. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these three into place. Right, that fits up there like that. I'm going to be using uh, this wood glue and that's my first step. I'm not going to use cyano on these. I don't want it leaching through into possibly uh, getting on the jig. Right, I've glued those three hardwood ribs in. I'm going to let them just dry off a little bit. And I'm going to carry on basically cutting out all the other ribs uh, and then putting them to either side. Okay, so the next step is we've uh, I've glued up to rib three. The next one is these are the balsa ribs four through to eleven couple of little tips here you might need to just give these a little bit of a lick just on the insides don't force them down because it's very easy to break it just across here um, so just gently fit those down each one now when you get to rib nine on the pack you'll see that there are some these trailing edge ones you don't need to cut these out at the moment it's just the front solid rib that we need at the moment so I'm just going to glue all of these I'm again I'm using wood glue and I'm going to go right to um, 11 and then I'm going to show you a little tip trip a little trip a little trick for doing number 11 that one there okay so I've stuck all the ribs in and the last two ribs I've used a little bit of scrap and then all I've done is I've just used those to hold those in place And I've got to confess that the last two I've used is Sino very, very carefully just to get them in place. Okay, thanks guys. So one final little piece. I've just added a small triangular gusset here that's cut from some of the um, scrap that I've got left over from the hardwood spars this is just to give this a little bit of added strength okay having glued all these ribs we're now going to add the leading edge so uh, it drops in here like so and what I am going to do is I'm going to actually pre-tape a bit of tape round here and then a little bit of an oil tape just to pull it all in. So I'm going to get it all in place with a couple of bits of tape. So okay, I have now um, added the carbon leading edge. I've just used a little bit of masking tape. Don't pull them up too tight. But they fit superbly into all the grooves in the front of the rib. And I'm now just going to slowly systematically work along. And then just adding a little bit of Sino to every one top tip make sure that you only add the carbon to half of that center rib because we're going to have to add the other side as well okay so that is one side of the ribs done I'm now going to do exactly the same on the other side and the next episode will be sheeting the wing <laughs>